Hey everybody, today I have one of my favorite spring vegetables to share with you. And I think it's actually one of the most intimidating vegetables of all, and that is the artichoke. And today I'm gonna show you how to prepare artichokes. It's really easy. To tell whether or not you have a good artichoke, you wanna make sure that the leaves or actually the petals, because this is actually a flower, believe it or not. It's a member of the thistle family. Look for artichokes that have a tight head. The leaves are compact and not splayed out and a vibrant green color overall. I have a globe artichoke here and these are baby artichokes which are another popular version that you see out there. To store them properly you want to slice off a dime sized piece of the stem and sprinkle it with a little bit of water and place them in an airtight plastic bag and they will last in your refrigerator for about a week. What I'm going to do first before I start with the artichoke is prepare some acidulated water and acidulated water is a fancy term for lemon water. Cut a lemon in half and squeeze it into a bowl of cold water. This acidulated water prevents that oxidation. To start with trimming, pull away any of the small leaves around the base of the stem. Peel away some of these exterior leaves. Trim the stem here. Take a pair of kitchen shears and you wanna cut away the tips of the leaves here because at each end of the tip, there's a small thorn that will actually prick you if you do not trim them off. And trim these leaves two thirds of the way up the artichoke. And once you get up high enough, what you can do is you can take a serrated knife and you can cut off the top inch and a half of the artichoke. And these are really tough fibrous ends that you need to remove. You can take the lemon that you cut in half and can rub it along the areas where you've cut, which will hopefully prevent oxidation. But these can be submerged in the water here while you complete the rest of your artichokes. If you were going to stuff your artichoke, what you need to do is you need to force the leaves apart and then you're ready to stuff and you can steam them or you could bake them in your oven covered. And now for steaming, have a large pot with a steaming basket inside, about three inches of water. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to steam the artichokes upside down because when we have to check for their doneness, you really need to check through the stem end. So this is an easy way of doing it. You don't have to keep flipping your artichokes over. And they will steam for about 25 to 30 minutes until they're nice and tender for the artichoke heart, which is at the base of the artichoke and is the most prized possession of the artichoke itself. It's really simple. You basically start off in the same way where we're going to cut off about one quarter of the top of the artichoke. Strip the leaves away from the base of the artichoke. You want to remove all of the leaves that are the vibrant green color and stop once you get to the yellow interior leaves. You can actually start using a paring knife and going around the artichoke just like this until you get to those yellow leaves. What you wanna do with your paring knife is peel away the green all the way down to the stem. Trim off the end here. The remaining top portion of the leaves I'm going to cut through, exposing the interior, and that is the purple choke. So this is a fibrous, fuzzy center that actually gives name to the artichoke, which will make you choke if you consume it. So we need to scoop it out and use a sharp-sided spoon. It will really help you kind of dig out the center of the choke. And you can see the furry little fibers here. And this is what we need to discard. So once you've scraped out all of the choke, you should be left with a nice clean interior here. And now you can cut your artichoke in half and place it into the acidulated water so that it doesn't continue to brown on you. So they can be steamed, they could be sauteed, but that is how you prepare a artichoke heart. So now for the ever popular baby artichokes, this is quite interesting. The globe artichoke or the larger artichokes are actually the main stalk of the plant. Baby artichokes are the offshoots of the plant. So smaller stems creating smaller artichokes like this. So. Baby artichokes are more tender than the globe artichokes and you can actually eat these raw. And the method of preparation is pretty much the same here, but you do not need to remove that interior choke because it isn't as fibrous. So I'm basically removing some of the exterior leaves again. Take your serrated knife. You wanna trim off about a third of the artichoke now. And you want to remove the exterior leaves until you reach leaves that are probably half green and half yellow. I can trim off a little bit of the stem. 
if you wanted to try your artichokes raw, you can shave it on a mandolin for salads or for a quick saute. And I love when you fry them in a little bit of olive oil until they get brown and crispy. They're almost like a potato chip in a way, but with a little bit of lemon, they're actually delicious. So I'm gonna save these for my fryer. Again, if you're doing this in advance, store them in the acidulated water so that they do not brown too much. So that is how you prepare baby artichokes. Now let's check on our steamed artichokes here. You can see that the color changes to more of an army green. And I'm gonna take my paring knife here, just check the stem end. And if the knife glides easily into the stem, you know that your artichokes are perfectly cooked and wonderfully tender. So this one is ready to go, perfectly tender. You can serve artichokes like this with some melted butter, a vinaigrette, hollandaise sauce would be really great here. I'm gonna do melted butter and some lemon wedges today. Eating an artichoke can be a little bit intimidating as well. You pluck the leaves from the side, dip in your butter or your vinaigrette, and you're going to scrape the leaves using your teeth. Just like that. And there you have it. I hope I've encouraged you to go out there, shop for some artichokes, and make them in the various ways that we've showed you today. Enjoy.